that you had there uh, I think I believe that you thought about what what you're going back to now in Afghanistan when you said that right yes you see the situation in Afghanistan incredibly changed this is the things that really as an Afghan woman I never let's say respect or expect that happen very fast and very soon like that it's like we say that uh, 180 like turn very yeah. fast around, yeah. exactly and we start from zero arrive in 20 and now we came back again in zero that's unacceptable but, uh, Lain, that's the way you, your name is pronounced Lain, it's correct but like Lailuma. Lailuma. um but the situation um, before the arrival of the Taliban in Kabul, um, how, was, how were the last 20 years? Because um, they, somehow media right now gives the impression that it was um, a situation, very good in, a situation for women the last 20 years, but I believe that's not completely true. No? It was already hard time before the arrival of the Taliban. You know, since the, uh, let's say, 9-11 attack in uh, um, New York, and then the collapse of the Taliban, then the regime completely changed in Afghanistan. It wasn't easy to change very fast mentality of the Afghans. You know, the, the, like a 40 years war in the country, and mostly the people are not educated. And they're always following like the madrasas, going to the mosque, listening to the mullahs, and they are not able to read and write, going to a school during the Mujahideen and during the um, uh, um, uh, Taliban. And also even during the communist regime, not too many, uh, can I, Shut down the sound of my telephone because I receive every okay. second SMS because no it's bo bothering me. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a few for a second. Yes, now it's okay. Yeah. And uh, during the communist regime, also, you can find these schools in the big cities, but not in the villages. So it is start from that time that the men and women are not able or they don't have any facility to go to the school to learn to study if you learn then you know how to stand or how to make your life then the difficulties start from that time but it was not so so bad like that but better mm -hmm. then it was improvement uh, it was improvement Sorry? It was an improvement. It was an improvement the last 20 years, but the situation... Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm trying to explain that it started from the past, continuing yeah. till the moment we arrived in 2001, and then the, the world changed, the life of the Afghans changed, and slowly, day by day, Afghan society is changed. They start to reading, writing, going to a school, they, they, they receive their freedom and the democracy with a lot of, you know, in the beginning it was more than 50 uh, countries involved in Afghanistan. More than 100 
50 international troop war in Afghanistan. And then the, it was the time gift for everyone this kind of opportunity to think that we are not allowed now. And we have a new government, new regime with the support, big support of the international community. And then this is the time we start changing. I was the first female uh, uh, Afghan journalist refused to uh, refuse that not wearing the burqa. It wasn't mm -hmm. easy in 2002. You see like the mentality uh, Afghans and also there were uh, like now Taliban were everywhere. And you are I, correspondent. You are a correspondent in, in Brussels for Brussels Morning, no? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, but uh, this is not shown in, in, in Afghanistan, no? I, I, I guess, or... Uh, no. For so the moment, don't, no. Yeah, so you, you don't suffer right now uh, that you have to uh, cover yourself or... No, no, you no, are no, limited no. in what you say now. No, no, you know, in 2002, I start. In 2003, I appear without the scarf and the TV. It wasn't easy. But I said, this is the time. If I not start now, then tomorrow will be late. Like now, I always say for the woman in Afghanistan, I shout and I tell them, please don't stay at home. If you stay at home, it means you accept the Taliban, what they want to do for the woman. If you are hiding yourself, it means you agree with them. Go in the street because now all the eyes of the international community is in Afghanistan and Taliban said we change. Then this is the time. Go and show them. But the problem, the problem is uh, you're living in Brussels. It's easy to say that if you're there and you're, 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 you're afraid. I mean, you're afraid that... You I know. know that I agree with I, I agree with you, but that's why I did. In 2002, I start. It's the same with a little bit di different, uh, uh, like a, let's say change, but uh, the Afghans are the same Afghans. Mm. Uh, not easy. Yeah. They are treating me for a dead hundreds of times. And I said, I will not never give it up. This is my way. Yeah. I <laughs> should stand to defend. And the same now, if we are not giving the sacrifice, we are never arriving for our right. This is always said to everyone. Before, if I am in Afghanistan, I stay the same, strong, and said, I will not accept again to go back. Afghanistan is not in Afghanistan 1999. We are in 21st century for the moment. We should understand that what's our right. The world has changed. And we are going again back, no, impossible to accept it. And I'm very happy. You see the time to time, the women are coming out in the street and they are, they are talking, they are shouting. They did small like a demonstration. That's really right wonderful. Now. Right yeah. now, two days ago, I saw it in the, in the social media. Um, since when you live in Brussels? Since when do you live in Brussels? Oh, for how many uh, years? Yeah, uh, 10 years we are living now. in Belgium, yeah. With my family, so, husband, two daughters, I have it, yeah. Yeah, so you probably would not go back to Afghanistan anymore. Uh, for the moment, no. Uh, uh, you know, since the day I asked Secretary General, don't recognize the Taliban, and tomorrow they went and searched for my family. If I'm going in Afghanistan, I'm sure that they, they will kill me. But if they are killing me, it, it doesn't matter because I already raised the voice. And this is for me really like a victory if they are doing that. And uh, uh, I know it's not easy, but uh, this is our way. When you start to for the combat, you maybe win or you will lose. Huh? For me, this is the yeah. same situation. In the Moscow, always there is a person from the intelligence service and they wanted from all the Moscow. They are like spying to see the mullah talking about what? If someone is talking a little bit in different way and the next day 
they are coming and say this is not the way they press them to change because from the mullah you can change your mentality the, that uh, that uh, a story was about a, a communist regime but during the mujahideen and during the taliban they always said women should stay at home no education no zero right for them mm -hmm. during the taliban five years people from afghanistan uh, uh, especially women were like a prisoner we are not allowed to look at in the sun how do you i accept that taliban come back with a different mentality with a different ideology that's not true yeah you, you made this uh, in, the, in your emo emotional speech, you made this claim that we should not uh, recognize uh, the Taliban regime, and uh, of course, uh, not make business, making business with them. Um, but apart from that, like you're living in Belgium, Belgium is a multicultural uh, melting pot as well, with a lot of problems uh, as well, with terrorism problems in the past. Um, should we become a little bit more stricter on how we uh, integrate different religions and cultures in our society? And uh, uh, that's the most important point. Uh, integrated people are really, really important. But sometimes it's not easy, it is difficult. As an Afghan, as a Muslim, as a refugee, I have a lot of negative experience also. First, when you go in other country, you are not able to speak the language. You are not able to find a job very fast. And you are not able to solve your problem. And then it starts from this way. When you go everywhere, they are not trying to do the same way that like they are doing for the citizens when you see this kind of things that's also give you a negative point before i work with the journalists or with the media because i finished or i studied in journalism university in afghanistan and i work for media and many years with them and when i accepted from the belgium side and we belong to the social. And you know, they, they said, you should uh, read a little bit, uh, go in the school, and after that, you must find a job. I said, okay, but can you help me in that matter? They said, yes, yes. After few months, I take an appointment with someone to help me to find a job because I was new. The language is not my language. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a good um, uh, discussion with them. And the person who was in charge, he told me, okay, you want to work as a cleaner in some places, or you, are, you like to do something in the kitchen, this kind of things. I said, what? He said, yeah, because you're not speaking. I said, but sometimes it doesn't matter to speak. And I said, you know that I'm a journalist and I work with the embassy. I am a former diplomat. You ask me to go and work. I'm not blaming that uh, I cannot work in the uh, mm -hmm. cleaning, but this is not my capacity. I have more than that. Why yeah. I'm not going to do something else? And then I said, sorry, I decide to continue my education. I will go to study to take my master. They said, no, you can't. I said, I can because I know there is a law they allow us to study and then we are talking very hardly and then i said okay i know what to do i start the procedure uh, the enrollment in the ulb here at the uh, free university of brussels i finished everything the day they accept i took the paper and i came back, uh, in the uh, social housing or uh, welfare and i said that i will go and study they wasn't happy for that. And they said, you must find a job. I said, when I study with the diploma of Belgium, then I will find a job, better job than I think about it. And then, mm -hmm. but like by force, I went and entered at the university. 
these are the mistakes that if happen with a lot of uh, um, refugees, not only in Belgium, in all the world. They yeah, should you, you place can, them you, like they are educated people, not yeah, force them yeah, to always yeah, to do yeah, something that yeah, really yeah, they are yeah. doctor, they are engineer, they are yeah, really yeah. nurse, and they are saying only for the cleaner. No. So you came as a refugee uh, 10 years ago. You came as a refugee 2000. Yes, yes. I came as a refugee. Yeah. Even though there was already uh, a change in, in Afghanistan. So it, it is true it was not as good as they say as well. No, it was not such a great situation. I mean, it was not like the Americans and German, Germans and Spaniards, they were there and everything was fine. No, there was even the last 20 years a lot of problems, no? Uh, I'm, I'm missing that right now in the... In yeah, the for, for the moment, the situation is uncomparable from yeah. like... A, Two months ago. Yeah. Uh, but even two you, months ago, it was difficult. I, yes. It was difficult, but at least as a woman, you were free to go, to talk, to work. And, uh, but now, more than catastrophe. Everyone is like a lockdown. I said the conformize is starting in Afghanistan for women, then we don't know for how long. If they recognize the Taliban. Then this is the longest conformal, like five years we did, and then now we don't know. And this is the darkness days is start for the country, especially for the women. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for attending the request. And yeah, uh, I don't know what to say really on how to help, but... Um, how to help? The best way, I think, I said to Joseph Borrell, for the moment, we need to help the immediate help for the humanitarian help for, for the Afghan, to support also for the women, especially for the widows. You know, if you don't have any man in your family during the Taliban regime, you think that you are dying. There is no way for you to go. Uh, to to work and then if there is no work then there is nothing to eat that's why we need to help and support this kind of women and young uh, girls yeah. without yeah. any uh, uh, let's say without any man uh, in their home the, the, uh, the solution is not we, we had a I had a talk to uh, uh, an activist in Kabul a woman she said that the solution cannot be that all the women are escaped now from Afghanistan and and, uh, and, and even they don't want to go. They really, many of them fought for their rights and they want to stay there and to still be in Afghanistan and not to leave what they, what they build up. So, but of course, some of the girls probably that can finish their uh, education would be good to have scholarships, you not know? so at least for a time they can go to Germany, wherever, and, and finish their studies, no? Uh, yeah, that's true. We cannot uh, evacuate all the women from Afghanistan, but we must find the other way for better yeah. life and safety for them. Yeah. But at least we can try the base and recognize really the family they need to let's say uh, go out from afghanistan there is a lot of families i know that they have the most difficulties because before they worked and now they can and they don't have any man in their home and some of them for the moment because their husbands are working and then the, uh, they start for the moment to searching house by house for the for the people they need then they take and i have a friend they came in their home and they they, uh, they took uh, her husband and it's a few days there is no news we must to help this kind of family no, and, and that's also what i'm thinking there are also men suffering not just women no yeah. Everyone that's speaking up. Um, thank you very much. And, um, you are yeah, welcome. All the best for you. <laughs> bye Thanks bye. for your support. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.